They're good friends of the, the Pahi Nui Festival. They help sell t-shirts every year. So we thank them very much for that. My name is Roxanne McCool. I'm now, I live up Malka in the homestead, Hawaiian homestead. I come to this festival because it's happiness. It's a free concert for everybody and everyone just gets together and has a great time. And families come together. Where I used to live, Cyril and his friends used to um, come over and kanikapila in the yard. I feel that this is important for the kids of Hawaii, for the kids of Waimanalo, because Gabby was a big part of us. And so to watch music, my grandchildren play ukulele and kanikapila. It's just something all children should learn and do. It takes them to a happy place instead of being on the streets and stuff. Am I planning to come? Yes, I am. As long as I'm on this earth, I'm planning to come and bring my grandchildren and for them to watch how it happens. If you say Gabby, it's a known name from children that weren't even on this earth when he was here, but they know what it meant. By coming to these things, they get educated on that. Even if Gabby's not here, his, his legacy goes on. Um, my name is Aaron Kim. I'm a descendant of um, Anita Kahu Na'ali from uh, Nu'uanu, my great-grandmother. I like, to, I like to address it that way, just because I represent her, and she basically taught me a lot. So I like to say that. Is that cool? Okay, cool. Right on. Awesome. I come here to uh, meet up with friends, um, friends that I hang out with all the time, friends that we, we actually meet up once a year just specifically for this event because we share although we have different lives and we do different things we share the same passion and I think that's it's the music and what this festival represents I think that's the right word to use um, actually my grandmother and Gabby Pahinui is brother and sister and it, it even comes down to what this festival is about. People coming together, you know what I mean? People taking care of each other, people sharing the same passion and, and, and all of that good stuff that, that's part of, that's Hawaiian. You don't gotta be Hawaiian to be Hawaiian nowadays, you know what I mean? You gotta have it, it's gotta be inside here. And, and this festival represents that to me, you know? It's pretty cool. Morning has come. forward to it. I come here at like 8 in the morning before people even show up just to get a good spot and only because I want to make sure that my elders, my uncle, my, my older uncles and my family, anyone that comes, any kupunas that come, they have a, a, a good spot to have so they can enjoy it. You know what I mean? He's an icon in the, in the, in the community and not only I think in the community, I think around the world. His, his message that he, he spread without Realizing he was doing it was is, is he represented the, the the Hawaiian community as a whole. You know what I mean, and that's I think what makes him a, an icon to begin with. His his music, his message. You know what I mean, and his family. They've continued to perpetuate it, kind of like how he was. You know, I mean, just I mean, look at the amount of people here. You you can't fit that in his yard or in their yard. You know, you know what I mean, and, and it's awesome. My name is Bruce uh, Naluai. I'm from uh, Laie, about on the North Shore side of the island. Um, been born and raised there. This year I come because I, I, <laughs> I work. I'm working with the stage crew, uh, the sounds, and uh, I've been working with this company for a couple years. And I go around setting up stages and sound lighting. I used to play music um, years ago, 
Uh, this is the other side of it, I guess. More relaxing to me. I I grew up listening to his music, and I grew up listening to um, the family, um, the Pahinui family, and Hawaiian music. It was back then, I guess, not like nowadays. I Man, you get in Pandora's box, you got all kinds of different apps, you listen to music from all over the world. We kind of grew up with AM stations still, and listening to all this kind of different Hawaiian music, especially on Sundays. But they had different um, Hawaiian music from you know, all over different islands. You know, it's um, it's interesting because nowadays, like I said, it's, it's easier to, to stream everything, um, you know, social media. Uh, so in some ways, it's it's kind of good to have a resurgence of Hawaiian music because it's, it's, it's easy to get it out there. Um, from what I was told when I was, you know, young growing up, Hawaiian music is, it's, it always tells some kind of story, even though you don't understand the words, but it always tells stories about, you know, history and whatnot. I like the love song ones. <laughs> I would say he has influenced uh, a lot of musicians nowadays. He's influenced by their, their um, all these different bands that learn learned from the family, I guess. Because they all just, Gabby had all these sons and everybody else that played music. Uh, my dad used to play music, his music too. Oh. Yeah, yeah they <laughs> 